I'm proposing a bold conservation program to involve every state, county, and city, and every average American in our energy battle. This effort will permit you to build conservation into your homes and your lives at a cost you can afford. I ask Congress to give me authority for mandatory conservation and for standby gasoline rationing. And I'm asking you for your good and for your nation's security to take no unnecessary trips to use carpools or public transportation whenever you can, to park your car one extra day per week, to obey the speed limit, and to set your thermostats to save fuel. Every act of energy conservation like this is more than just common sense. I tell you, it is an act of patriotism. I'll let you see how many miles this guy's going. So you see how much. Garage is about shot. No problem is about building new garage is the water line just about a foot behind this garage. Huh? You, could, you like it have it bigger if you built one. I'm. I'm. You make this way further. You can't turn around yet. I'm just glad I finally met somebody that's got a garage that's in worse shape than mine. <laughs> You're in bad shape too. <laughs> it's getting old. <laughs> Well, uh, you don't expect to see a good-looking truck like that in an old garage, though. That's all right, eh? Yeah. You can look in there now. See, 15,761. And, and how old is this truck? It'll be 11 years old the 4th day of June. Dang. Four more weeks. I bet the resale value on this truck's higher than any other that came out that year. I was talking about if you just have a wreck, it probably wouldn't give you half what it's worth. <laughs> yeah. I'll pull it back in here and get it out of the way. Well, in 1979, Jimmy Carter came on television and claimed there's a gas shortage, but he didn't say when the gas shortage is over with that you could go back to driving normal. He just told everybody to cut their driving 10%, set the thermostats at 78 and 68. And I guess mm -hmm. you ain't old enough to remember it, but a lot of, a lot of government officers and everything did for a while. Yeah, I was 10 years old. <laughs> but but they, they quit and... Uh, he should have said the guy started to go with. Of course, he's just in another year and a half to Reagan come in. Yeah. And nothing's more said about it. I should have wrote somebody then. Yeah. I could drive fairly well then. Oh, I drove 3,000 miles there in 79. As I told you, I from 69 to 77, I averaged about 4,500 miles a year. Yeah. And it taught me a year where I drove last. Yeah. And uh, I ain't drove over 3,000 miles in a year since 1979. Wow. I, told, uh, I went over in 2002. I had to... I found my blood was way too thick and had to go have a shot in the stomach twice a day. Mm -hmm. And then I had trouble getting my blood thinner right and I had me coming back three or four days a week trying to get it right. And then I had got down to my back and I had to have the therapy on it. So I drove 2,900 mm -hmm. something miles that year. Oh, wow. And then... Uh, well, that was close to your 3,000, wasn't it? Yeah. And <laughs> then and then in... Uh, so what was your goal? What, what, what I goal? was try, trying to stay 10% below. You know, I was driving 3,000, 10 below would be 2,700, you know. Yeah. And then in uh, 2006... January, I did. I ought to got the paper and read it because my I always afraid, thought my neighbor was wrong. Surely on the heat, uh -huh. he said it. Uh, uh, but I seen the headline in the paper and I should have got it. He wanted to cut energy use twenty percent over the next five years, four percent a year. And I asked my neighbor then later on, how about the heat? Well, he cut everything twenty percent. Of course, with that seventy eight sixty eight after the fifth year, that'd be ninety three and fifty four. He'd be cutting yeah. everybody out. Yeah. Air conditioner, he'd either one. Yeah. So I didn't, of course, use no air conditioner. Well, I didn't under Carter because he said to use less energy and didn't have no air conditioner then. Mm -hmm. And uh, to make up for XR of the heat, I, 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 it cut me down 1,700 miles a year after the fifth year under Bush Jr., but I cut, tried to cut myself down to 1,400 miles a year. And I, I quit raising tobacco and that cut my tractor use about 60%. Uh -huh. and, and I'd make about 30 or 40 biscuits you, when I made biscuits. You didn't quit make, doing raising tobacco because of that, though, did you? Well, not not completely. Uh, I was getting old, and I was afraid I'd fall out of the barn and hurt myself, and we yeah. had nobody to take care of me. Yeah. And but that still cut it. Yeah. That was the second year, and uh, so, uh, and I shut off two rooms back there all the time. But you made your biscuits in bulk, so you only had to cook one time. Yeah, I put them in, the, put them in the freezer in plastic bags. Yeah. And get them out and uh, take them out, and then I'll be thrown up while I'm eating my cereal, and then I put yeah. them in the microwave. Oh, wow. About thirty-five seconds, and then put some margarine on. Them. 
put it back in. And, yeah. And I, most of the time, the last five or six years, I haven't used the oven. It uses a lot more energy than the rest of your stove. Yeah. But about once a month. Huh. Prove to you here about my light bills. It's showing I didn't use air or nothing. So Look here. In, in 2012, it's just 31. Wow. <laughs> All these years, it's about all of these in 30 and 32. Yeah. And this is the miles I've drove since 2000, 2005 since. Oh, wow. Let me write that. And then up here, I got wrote down how many miles my truck's got right now. And, and I, as I told you, 341 miles. So, uh, biscuit, freezing biscuits, uh, uh, no air conditioner in the summertime. What are some other tips that you did to keep, keep your energy use down? Well, that, that's, that's about it, I guess. Yeah. Did you run a fan when it got too high? No, there's nothing you can see there. Light bills. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. You didn't even have a fan or nothing. No, I didn't use nothing. Boy, you must like the Our, our in 2012. You remember it? when it got 106 on on Saturday, the last day of June, and yeah. the day before it was 104. Yeah, it was about 93 or four degrees here in the house. Our and I had I couldn't go to sleep. I slept naked without any cover and with a fan. I just got a fan going and still. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said I wish George Bush Jr. was over on the other bed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that when you decided it was about time to get in touch with him and see if it yeah, was I started, over? Yeah, I started writing them then. But <laughs> I, I'd been better off to just ask Lamar Alexander yeah. to start with. Do I have to buy it in more? And I'm, yeah. I might have been all right the last four or five years. We often think of conservation only in terms of sacrifice. In fact, it is the most painless, an immediate way of rebuilding our nation's strength. Every gallon of oil each one of us saves is a new form of production. It gives us more freedom, more confidence, that much more control of our own lives. So the solution of our energy crisis can also help us to conquer the crisis of the spirit in our country. It can rekindle our sense of unity, our confidence in the future and give our nation and all of us individually a new sense of purpose. Uh, tell me why you felt like it was an well, obligation. Well, Romans, the 13th chapter, he said, Let every soul be subject to a higher power, than no power but to be of God. All power is ordained of God. He that resisteth resisteth the orders of God, and he that resisteth receives unto himself damnation. Mm -hmm. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, when they come up with stuff like that about the heat, that's not that's not good. Right. <laughs> and right here is the uh, letter I read to you. Okay. Trump. So what did Mr. Trump say to you? Well, uh, somebody else, I say a aide or secretary wrote it. Yeah. It, it, it just commanded me a little bit for not wasting energy. And otherwise, it talks how they're trying to save energy in the environment. Yeah. What, what did you write him and ask him originally? Well, I asked him to be released from George Bush Jr.'s energy commands. Right. And here, they, I forward this and here's from uh, Roe, and this is Alexander, one of them's April 2014, the other's August 2014. I should have called them and asked them to, uh, if I had to debate anymore, still have them forward a letter. I had an open letter in it from the forward on to Bush Jr. because I didn't know his name. Mm -hmm. No, his name, didn't know his address. Right. <laughs> and uh, uh, they set this back here where they, you can see it there, where they, they forwarded it on. And also the one that Alexander, I ended up, uh, I put a, put another little envelope in there with a stamp, I stamped the others, and at my address, I said, you don't have to write one line to release me from your commands, of course, I guess he's aid through it in the waste can, probably. Right. That just pretty well says the same thing, get him a different man. Right here is a, just a rough graph of what I sent to Obama, pretty well, pretty well the same to what I sent to, what's it called, they had to correct it two, three places, and of course I sent a different one. That just, <coughs> Did he ever call you back, or write you back? No, Obama never did hear nothing of me at the time. So did they, anybody ever release you? Not till Alexander. I called Alexander's office and, and I didn't call them. I wrote them, Alexander, what's wrong with me? I wrote them. And uh, they called me then about three weeks later. The man said that I didn't have to pay it anymore. And I said, did Lamar Alexander say that? And he said, yeah, he's going to pass a resolution in the Senate to commend people for not wasting energy. Really? So when did, when did that take place? That was... so. Uh, so uh, I, I guess it was right around last September, uh, maybe the early September when I wrote yeah. the letter. And what do you think about people that didn't pay no attention to that? Yeah. Well, I just don't know. That's between them and the Lord. And yeah. most people didn't think, because that punishment was so severe, that uh, thought I was just strained in that. Uh -huh. <laughs> most people did. 